Hello again. Now we have exercise 5.6 and for this exercise we are basically interested in the channel modulation effect. So we know that the the process transconductance is 200 microamperes per square volt. We know that the early voltage is 50 volts per micrometer of channel length and first we need to define the early voltage and lambda which is the channel modula modulation parameter if the length of the channel is 0 0.8 micrometers so the early voltage okay, is defined as the early voltage per micrometer of channel length right so it's VA prime times the channel length so VA prime is 50 volts per micrometer times 8 0 0.8 micrometers and this gives us 40 volts so this is the early voltage and the channel modulation parameter lambda so lambda here is defined as the reciprocal of the early voltage so it's 1 over early voltage that's equals to 1 over 40 volts right which is equals in this case to 0 0.025 reciprocal voltage so that's part A now part B we keep the length as 0 0.8 micrometers now we know the width of the transistor which is 16 micrometers right so this is a new parameter that we have the overdrive voltage is 0 0.5 volts and the drain source voltage is 1 volt so we know those four quantities and we also know those two that we just calculated in part A so we need to find out what's the value of the the drain current right so and the output resistance okay so the drain current now is calculated so the drain current here calculated and because the drain source voltage is higher than the overdrive voltage we know that we are operating in the saturation region right so the drain current is calculated as one half of the process parameter right the process transconductance Kn prime times the aspect ratio times the overdrive voltage squared and now we have to include that parameter of the channel modulation effect so it's 1 plus lambda times VDS and if we substitute the values that we have it's 1 half of Kn prime so it's 200 microamps per volt squared times 16 micrometers that's the width of the channel divided by 0 0.8 also micrometers that's the length of the channel times the overdrive voltage squared times 1 plus the channel modulation parameter which is 0 0.025 times the drain source voltage which gives us a drain current of 
512.5 micrometer microampere sorry which is the same as 0 0.5125 milliamps okay <clears throat> now to calculate our out so the output resistance here we know that the output resistance our out is equals to 1 divided by the channel modulation parameter lambda times the drain current so in this case is 1 divided by 0 0.02 25 times the current 0 0.5125 milliamperes and because this one here is voltage to the minus 1 right we get voltage so voltage divided by current which gives us ohm right resistance and the value of this resistance is 78 kilo ohms Okay, because I'm using like more figures here so it's giving me 78 and the third part is that suppose we increase VDS by 2 volts so if I go to this plot here at first we had 1 volts here but now we increase VDS by 2 volts so we go to 3 volts right what's the change in the drain current so if we look at this plot here, we have again VDS over ID, right? Or ID over VDS. And because our VDS is greater than the overdrive voltage, right? So our overdrive voltage is 0 0.5 here. We are operating in the saturation region. And if you remember, without the channel modulation effect, this current here, ID, in function of VDS it would do something like this right it would keep straight to the right but now we are inserting the channel modulation effect so we have some some resistance here some slope in this curve in the saturation region that's dictated by 1 over the output resistance so the slope of that curve is 1 over R out now if you look at the behavior of this curve if we have one volt as VDS we have some value of ID right if we increase VDS we get another value of ID that should be greater than the previous one so how do we calculate this difference so for VDS for, for VDS equals one volt we already know so ID 1 is equals to 5 so 0 0.5125 milliamps and the new value of current ID 2 is going to be equals to ID that we have ID 1 times 1 plus the channel modulation parameter lambda but now the new VDS is 3 divided by 1 plus lambda times the previous VDS so basically what we are doing here this term here is actually this term here in the equation so let me show you is this term here that's not changing with the change of VDS right so only this parameter here that's now depending on VDS because the overdrive voltage it depends on the threshold voltage and the voltage between gate and source this parameter here it's from the from the from the size of the, the transistor right the width and the length of the channel and this one here it's a process parameter so it keeps the same right so this first term here ID 1 divided by 1 lambda 1 is just giving me back that value that I have up there so if you want you can 
just recalculate ID2 using this equation here. But this is another way to see the same result. And then we are multiplying by a new factor of the channel modulation parameter, right? Because this value here of VDS, it changed from, it changed from 1 to 3 volts. So the new value of ID, so ID2, is equals to ID, so 0 0.5125 milliamps times 1.75, which is this term here, divided by 1.025, which is the denominator of this fraction here. So ID2 is equals to 0 0.5375 milliamperes, which gives us a uh, change in ID that's equals to 0 0.5375 minus 0 0.5125 milliamps that equals to 0 0.025 milliamps okay so that's it for this exercise